Okay, uh, hello viewers, hello uh, IT DevOps people. Uh, as I promised, uh, someone requested me a uh, GitHub action. I'm also new to this one. I just learned it last year, <laughs> and I totally, I totally forgot it now. So um, I'm running uh, an an action right now. It's it's enabled by default. <clears throat> the, the the github action whenever uh you have uh you have a subfolder that github and workflows and then a yaml any name will do right others so that they will run from another one one after another they put one on the uh, prefix and then the the name dash name one and then two dash name two yam that yaml okay um so this one worked but uh all the previous one are they have errors right so now with the uh, with the github actions um before we start the github actions um I will I, I I just use the GitLab dev right the sandbox this is just free with GitLab developers right now you can log in as you can sub, you can register as your own email I advise that you do what I did I use the GitHub my it just integrate the the login I'm using GitHub right and then you register and then you sign up with the sandbox for free and then you will have the you know what let me delete this deployment you will have one one project right you cannot you cannot create more 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 project because this is just the pre one okay so i have deployment here of workspace if because i play with the uh, if you want the CLI right but we will not be uh, adding that on my demonstration today so yeah so you just register to, to to Red Hat developers and then um, I have here last year this github action right um, this is just simple anyway so now uh, since I'm uh, exploring github now they have uh how do you call this one let's say active but it's not active um open in browser okay so they have also the bs code now right get love was there at, i think two years ago uh, to have the to the to have the bs code okay but now they have it too and also this this github action is is uh newer i don't know two years but GitLab by cicd had been i don't know for the last eight or ten years so let's go to the bs code here um so this is just a simple java spring boot java so there's just one one uh, app that Java, right? So this will just log and get the status, right? But it's not that important right now. This is just the basic one because this is my first GitHub action. So and then it's using a build Gradle, right? Using Maven Central repository. But it's using Gradle uh, compiler, and the uh, the name is Java app. And then, if you want a GitHub Actions, you need to have a CI YAML with that folder that GitHub, and then workflows. Okay. And then, on on the on the pipeline of action, you need to have a name, but it's optional. They said. And then you have events which is on 
either push or pull request it depends on what what your requirements is you have more probably pull requests and then i just name it main main uh, i mean the branch is on only main right i don't have other branches and then uh, i have environment variables that i created here i don't know if i'm using the dev but these are the this is the URL of the and the token of of OpenShift and the namespace. So you will have a namespace here if you go to the command line here, right? And then click sa sandbox. I don't want to display it right now, but you will get the URL, the token, so that I don't have to. You know what? Probably I'll 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 click it but I'll put it here right so that you can see a little bit but not the whole let me see it's recording right yeah yeah at least you will see the the hub right so you will have the the token and the server URL is here right I just don't want to show it all yeah you can guess the rest of my token here if you want <laughs> uh, so there's nothing here on and in if you since my name of my my GitHub is uh, Uniwin UX, right? And then I integrated on my Red Hat developers, so the name the, the name will the name of your project will be Uniwin UX dash Deb, right? If it's if it's Ricky, then Ricky dash Deb or Ricky Tick dash Deb, right? And yeah, so I created all that variables. So I have to create the OpenShift variables, the token, right? It should be here in the settings and on the secrets and variables and actions. So I also have the uh, Docker password and Docker username, right? And, and these are the all the variables. So in here, I put an environment because, a bit, yeah, you will see it later. Um, so the build, the, so the event need ha need to have a jobs which is uh, i have only a build java okay i don't have other parallel jobs or another succeeding job right and then it runs on ubuntu right you can if you want send os then send os but right now it's just ubuntu um and then for you to be able to work on the repository you need to do a checkout right the github uh market there's a, mar a marketplace right um where's the marketplace github action marketplace right so if you want to find say oc login right you will see you will see it here and if you click that then you will you will go to the git so the next step is just uh, set up the Java, and this set up Java is uh, you just put one variable there, say with version 1.8, and then I, I guess the setup Java is Gradle, right? Because it's it's uh, I don't know, it's actually on your so it's using your your repository uh, Gradle W, just making it executable, and then it runs the build. And then the reason that I ls the build lib so that I can see what's the binary name, right? Otherwise, um, when I run this last year before, I my first error is this one because it changes from, from version to version of, of Gradle. So that's why I ls on that build libs, right? That's the one created when you do a Gradle build. Now I, I've seen this... Um, the docker build it's nine minutes now okay um and i just used the the latest one 6.4 um because i i need to play with uh i need to put the the tags and it's a uh the tags anyway I, I I can put the tag latest so that I don't have to 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 research more, right? The 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 basic that you need you 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 understand and 
you can go to the more more advanced but for now i'm just playing again with latest tags is latest and it should go with the latest version their latest is 6.4 otherwise you will have this uh main that's random digits right but i just use the latest one so that i can do also a simple deploy so the build needs to have a secret and i put the secret here so instead of uh, using a environment right in here i just use the secret and again the secret is uh, is somewhere it's, it's in here right on the settings of your repository and i put the username password and also this the uh, the username is also uh, the same as the username on your docker.io and then um this is the login there's a oc login version one still works right and then i just do a simple um uh, a, a simple deployment oc new app right and then i can put the uh, the variables here right all that secret you know what let's let, let's do it like like that uh Yeah, it's better later on uh, when you have an on the actual project, right? It's the, the, the they're supposed to be in a variables, but right now it's just this is basic, right? It's better for you to understand the basic basic uh, learning, and then uh, you need to put the the project, which is right this one. You need a new X Deb. And then I just put an, an or here so that if there's error, it will just do nothing. It will echo nothing, right? So, yeah, the Docker I.O., you should also make that variable dynamic, right? So that you don't have to put the Docker I.O. and you just, just put the variables here. But anyways, this is just the simple introduction to GitHub Actions pipeline. And let's see if it's going to run again. So I guess hopefully this is the final test. And uh, so that we're just, uh, it's 12 minutes now. So let's see the action here. So it's running the final test. Build Java. You click there. And then there's nothing deploy, deployed yet, right? And then on the the latest one here is six minutes ago. So if if we refresh that, so it's supposed to be oh it's thirteen minutes now, right? So it's supposed to be just one minute when when the pipeline or the action pipeline is done. So hopefully that request what is not so long someone requested it last friday and i'm fulfilling it today it's sunday i, I remember it's, it's it's easy anyway action is easy well the basic one right so the key all the time with even programming or or this this uh devops ci cd pipeline or or automation is always uh the debug the, the, the first thing you need to learn is the basic one. So it complete the job, right? Did it? Okay, final test. And then we should see the we should see the deployment here, right? So just this is the, the logs, right? And then we have the terminal. Right, who am I? Yeah, that's that's the jar, right? and that should be it so it's just simple it's, it's just simple uh, later maybe i will add a complicated uh, uh, pipeline later on together with the sonar code and uh, i don't know the container scanning yet on i uh, hopefully the the github action also have a creepy right so that is free and again thank you for uh for the subscribe and like and we are we are now almost 3000 
And again, uh, mabuhay, salamat, and ciao.